Welcome back to Otaku No Video. As always, thank you very much for joining me for a bit of a sad video where I want to talk about the shuttering of an anime studio called Artland. Artland is an icon in the anime industry, not a studio that a lot of people talked about, uh, partly because it was more responsible for major anime works uh, in the past. Uh, Artland uh, was established by Noboro Ishiguro, a famed uh, anime creator uh, and, and just creator in general who um, uh, made it in 1978. Um, Ishiguro worked on everything from Legend of the Galactic Heroes to Megazone 23 to Macross. Um, and Artland is responsible for a lot of things. Again, Macross, Megazone 23, Legend of the Galactic Heroes, Mushishi, uh, Kitekyo Hitman Reborn more recently. Um, uh, also helped out with a lot of, of anime works. And let's talk about that for a second. I just did a quick count. Studio Artland worked on 463 different anime productions. Yeah. Um, everything from Your Lie in April, to Slayers, to Popo La Croix, Madoka Magica, Large Swaths of Gundam, um, Little Busters, Letter to Momo, uh, Last Exile, Iron Man, um, Hunter Hunter, Idol Master, you name it, pretty much, they were involved. Um, you know, it's just one of those, one of those studios. But what they'll be remembered for more is Macross. It, it's hard to overstate the importance of Macross to anime in general. At a time when anime was still seen largely as a medium for kids, as a medium that um, maybe wasn't only to be enjoyed by young children, but was still full of just silly stories and was aimed at, like I said, maybe a more tween market, Macross came along and told a story aimed solidly at a, a teen market um, and that could be emotional and that could be serious and that tried to tell a story about war and about love in a way that was reasonably mature where the bad guys weren't just xenophobic aliens from Planet X, where romance wasn't just a few blushes and a kiss, where some characters made poor choices and had to live with it. Um, and more importantly, Macross had an animation budget. This is a time when anime was cheap. Anime was always given really, really low budgets for animation, and Macross defied that. They said, we, given the time and the money, we can make animation that stands the test of time, and Macross does. Uh, that, that original TV series has plenty of sequences that stand up today, and it helped bring anime to the mainstream. It helped, it improved the reputation of anime to the general public, especially in Japan, and also when it was made as part of Robotech. Uh, Robotech exists because of Macross, because Carl Maycheck wanted that series to come over to America and packaged it all into Robotech. And Robotech is the reason for American anime fandom. It, you know, before Robotech, there was not a cohesive, defined fandom of anime. And after that, there were enough people. It's, it, it happened to a very large degree because of Robotech. And Artland, unfortunately, has been hemorrhaging money. Um, their annual income as, as of November 2013 was about uh, $2.29 million. As of December 2016, three years later, it was down to $184,000. As you can imagine, it's very difficult to make animation on that little money. You gotta pay people their wages. You gotta pay for resources and stuff. And that's not a lot of money to produce stuff. Um, they said they, they kept on making popular works like Mushishi, but their outsourcing costs comprised almost 90% of their production costs, and they just kept on building up debt and building up debt until they had several million dollars in debt, and they just had to shut down. Um, the owner of the studio, the, the founder of the studio, Noboro Ishiguro, did pass away uh, not long ago. That was back in um, 2012. So about five years ago, 
Um, so he's, he's fortunately not around to see this. But it's sad. Uh, they were still working on the Seven Mortal Sins anime series with other studios. Um, so that will be continuing on. I'm sure that's not going to stop production. Um, and it's just sad seeing an icon of the industry go away. Um, it's also natural. This is what happens. Things are born and they live and they die. And Artland is one of those things. Um, but it's it's gone now. And we ju we just we're now living in a post Artland world. Um, and I think it just means we should appreciate the studios that we have, and the icons that are still around doing interesting things. And um, I guess all I can say is thank you, Artland. <laughs>